<sighs> Hi guys, it's Matilda. Obviously, because, you know, you're on my channel and, you know, I'm Matilda, so... Hi. Anyway, so today I'm going to share another story time with you. And this story time is actually about one of my old jobs, Subway. However, a little disclaimer, because you girl don't want to be sued. This has nothing to do with the company, Subway. This story happened because like a small amount of people working at Subway. This has nothing to do with the company, so you know, don't come for them, don't, you know... <laughs> because I don't want to be sued. But before we get into the video, don't forget to follow me on my socials, you know, Instagram, Twitter, you know, shamelessly promoting myself. Fun time. So after high school, when I was like around 19 years old, I started working at Subway, you know, the food chain Subway. And like it started being weird already at the beginning because like I had the worst job interview, like the worst, like, Ever. It was my first real job and the interview that I had was like ugh, catastrophic. It was not it was not a guy. It was not a good interview and I got the job so you know Already like a little bit weird there. So the manager that interviewed me He was a man and you know, I'm going to talk about that a little bit later so I started working at Subway and already very early on, I noticed a few things that weren't, you know, amazing about the job. They had really strict rules that were so easy to break. I mean, you only have like two to three minutes with every customer and that's impossible just because like there's people everywhere and it was so hectic at that time. As I said, I was around 19, 20 years old, so I don't know, like... It was like six years ago, so Subway was really like huge at that time. Like there were so many people every day and it was like impossible to get, to have like two to three minutes at each, like with each customer just because like they all wanted their own specific sandwich and you know, you know how it is at Subway, it's really like hectic there. So anyways, like the environment we worked in, it was not like a good environment. However, this is not like Subway's fault. Please don't come, please don't sue me. It was the manager. Uh, he had very strict rules and he was not a very friendly person. And you know, things also started being a little bit creepy for me. Like the first day I worked there, it was one guy, um, he's the worst. Person. Uh, let's call him Roger, okay? So the first day I worked there, like the first day, this is not even like a joke, the first day I worked there, so Roger asked me if I had anything mixed in me, like if my, you know, if my parents were not from Sweden. And I obviously said no, and then he, then he said, do you want to? Like, if I want anything mixed in me. And, you know, that it was kind of how my, like, how everything were at this specific subway. Um, and it only got worse from there. Um, Roger never... <laughs> he never had anything else to say to me besides things like that. It was a lot of harassment. And in the beginning, I was like, you no, know, I was 19 years old. And I was kind of like, mm -hmm, okay, it's okay, like he's just joking with you, Matilda, like, please take a joke. I was kind of like that. And I wasn't as woke as I am today. Um, so, you know, I was just like a newly adult person. I didn't have a lot of experience in the outside world. This was my first real job. And so, you know, I was kind of like, okay, Roger's just being a little bit creepy, but that's okay, you know. <laughs> so I was... I didn't say anything and he just like kept on going. Roger was, you know, that guy. And um, please don't be that guy. <laughs> he was always like trying to hug me and I was not the only one. So, you know, yeah. By every day that went, it got a little bit worse. Not only, you know, from Roger's side, but the whole like working environment. It was not like a great environment to work in. It was like a really tight ship. Um, they were not, I mean, it was not good. If you didn't say yes to like everything that they said, you would be like, <laughs> bye, kicked out. Like, it was kind of like that. You didn't feel secure in that way. It was not like, we're, we're a happy family here. They were like, <laughs> do as we say, or, you know, bye. 
it was kind of like that. And once, as I said, Roger always tried to hug me and I was like, no Roger. And Roger also had a wife. Okay, Roger had a wife and he was not, you know, he was not a good guy. It was like flat out harassment. I'm just going to say that it was plain harassment. There's not, I mean, you can't say it in any other way. I mean, it was harassment and by every day that I went to work, I got a little bit more creeped out. I felt like, oh my God, I, I, I can't deal with it today. Like it's so, it's really, really, really <laughs> difficult. And I don't feel happy with my workplace. And that's not how you're supposed to feel. You know, it wasn't really about the job. I could, you know, work with a job, but I couldn't work with the people. They weren't, uh, they weren't nice. Like the guys there weren't nice and specifically Roger. So he was always trying to hug me and he always said things about me, like in an objective manner. He always said things about my appearance and you know, he all and he also said things about my body like oh you're like that and you know it's just like creepy things and once and once i stood up for myself we were working and he started talking about my body and things you shouldn't say and i was like roger please there's customers here because like it was there there were customers there waiting to get a sandwich and he was like talking about me and he was like <laughs> like he was so unprofessional he didn't just like say to me that's plain like that's flat out wrong but he said he <laughs> with customers there like Imagine going to Subway and the person that you're buying from, he's like saying sad things. I mean, it's so messed up. And I was like, please, Roger, there's customers here. And then he said, don't talk back to me because otherwise I will s you. I'm not making this up. I mean, I mean, I wish I was. I mean, I wish I was making this up. But he literally said that he would s**k me if I would talk back to him. Isn't that like the most messed up thing that you've ever heard? And I was so shocked. Like for a 19 year old girl to talk back to a 35 year old man being like, please don't talk to me like that. And then he says that back to you. I mean, it was so, it was so messed up. Like everything was so messed up. I can understand that this might seem like it's impossible. Like I'm making this up. However, I'm not. Like I've been in similar, you know, situations with other men. I think that all women have been in similar situations like this, where you've been like, I'm, I'm so uncomfortable right now. I think that every woman out there have experienced, you know, assault, harassment, or like misconduct in some way. And this is like a, this is a big issue. And we need to talk about that. However, he said that, um, and I just like left. And the next day I went to the manager. I was that strong. A lot of women don't do this just because like, it's so tiring and you don't have you don't have the strength to always you know be the person you know standing up for yourself so you don't do it however i went upstairs and i sat down with my manager and i told him everything i told him that i was uncomfortable working i told him about the things that roger had told me and that other girls felt the same way and <laughs> the manager <laughs> The manager told me, Matilda, Roger is just joking with you. Are you? Oh my god, I'm getting so mad just thinking about it. He literally told me that Roger were just joking with me and, you know, just because, like, I'm a girl, I can't take a joke. It's not a joke. 
harassment is not funny. I was uncomfortable working. I didn't want to go to work just because like Roger, he was there and it's not supposed to be like that. I know that Roger was joking. I know that, but it's not funny. Sad harassment isn't funny. He never said that to men. That's the thing. If you can't say something to another man, you can't say it to women. It really, you know, wasn't wasn't a joke just because you wouldn't say the same thing to the men at your workplace, so, you know. <laughs> yeah, I just want to point that out. A few weeks later, my manager texted me 11 o'clock one night and he asked for pics. He was drunk and he asked me to send him my Snapchat and maybe we can, you know, <laughs> Send pics. <laughs> oh my god, thank you. So my manager, my boss, that's so inappropriate and also illegal. You can't ask your employees to send you pics. Just because, I mean, you have the power over us. I mean, you could just like fire us if we would say no. I mean, it's illegal, but you know, he could just like come up with something. And I obviously didn't. I mean, I didn't answer it. And a few days later, he sent me another text, you know, asking things about me, you know, trying to have a conversation with me. And I was trying to be polite. This was my boss, so, you know, I had to be polite. So I answered him, thanks, and he was really... I mean, I could feel that he was trying to make our conversation more, you know, yeah, you understand what I mean, and I felt so uncomfortable the whole time. And a few weeks later, I I quit. I my plan was to work there until I got into my university. However, I quit before that. I I was so tired. I was so tired of harassment from both my you know from both my colleagues you know Roger and now my boss like the manager and I later heard that he did things with you know the manager did things with the other girls when I quit I also realized that the girls working there it was like 95% girls in their 20s. I mean, I didn't have a single guy working there that was in my age. All of them were, you know, men and then young women. And it was so unbelievable that I didn't even realize that before. I didn't get the job because I was qualified. My job interview was crazy bad. I mean, it wasn't good interview. The only reason he gave it to me was because my I was beautiful and he also said that to me oh my god I forgot about that my manager my boss told me that I only got the job because I was pretty so yeah that was my boss and I just want to say that this has nothing to do with Subway I mean they they can't do anything about this I didn't I mean if I would you know send them an email I'm pretty sure that they would fire you know this manager and also they also Roger. <laughs> I just hope that it's not like that anymore and I hope that the manager is you know long gone. So yeah that was the worst experience I've had at a job uh, you know but I'm just like saying I'm just telling you my story because I think it's important to talk about this but yeah I think that was the whole video and if you like this video please give it a like comment subscribe and also hit the little bell icon to get future notifications whenever i post and thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye guys